All right, so for today, we're gonna be trying out the blue red Merktide list that has been doing pretty well in modern. Um, main reason being the TCG player just had a sale, so we picked up Ragavans and Merktides. So I want to find decks to play them in. So we're gonna try out this one, see if I like it, and go from there. So main thing of the deck and trip through use the power of dragon range channeler ragavan and murktide to kind of be down your opponent you've got a bit of counter magic with counter spell archmage charm and force of negation you've got explosive iteration to get you through the deck <coughs> it's relatively self-explanatory as to how it works you kind of just play sorceries instance and artifacts Make your Dragon Rage Channeler 3 threes, put a bunch of things into your graveyard, eat them with Merc Tide to make your Merc Tides really big, and use Ragavan's power of taking cards from your opponent's deck and winning with that. You're on 18 lands, three of which being islands, so that way you can still cast your Archmage to just charm through your Blood Moon. And then, other than that, it's just a bunch of blue red dual lands and fetch lands. As for the sideboard, what you've got going on, you've got two Flusterstorm for counter magic wars. Flusterstorm is just a really good card. You've got a mystical dispute. <laughs> In case you're facing another blue deck, Force of Negation for when you need to encounter things as soon as possible. And then a Jace to help lock out the game. Alpine Moon for... Things like Saga matchups, where you don't necessarily need to be bringing in Blood Moon, but you can bring in just one Alpine Moon here instead to get it done. A couple of EEs in the board, so that way you can blow things up because you've got one and two mana. That's where the vast majority of the format is, so Engineer's fine. Torpor Orb to stop things like Elementals. So that way, yeah, they get their Elemental if they evoke it, but they can't value train it. So they lose their solitude effect, they lose their endurance, they lose mole drifter, they lose all their ETB stuff. And then relic or graveyard type strategies. And that's pretty much how this list will work. Let's take it into a league and see how we can do with it and if we like it. Um sure i see a monkey i see merc tide the double monkey i don't like but grave crawler okay this shock it in red ragavan pass the turn i know we could dash it in But I don't think that's what we want to be doing here, right here. They're going to sacrifice a grave crawler. Or well, they discard a grave crawler, then they destroy our monkey. Okay. Then they replay grave crawler. Is their plan here? Okay. When he gets in this, we have our land. Let's go ahead and play out the other monkey and pass the turn here. Let's see how many bone shards they have. So we're going to take four here. And our hope is that the monkey gets to live. We get to take things from their side. And then we'll have iteration plus bolt. Reveal the top five cards. Put a creature card in their hand with the rest in the graveyard. Cool. 
So I'm assuming they put troll into hand. Oh, creature or land. They can pick land here. Pick like swamp. They can also pick none. I don't think they will, but that is an option. Okay, so we see Vengevine, Salvage, Marsh. Okay, so they did put the troll into hand. In step, we're going to Thought Scour ourselves. We hit over Dragon Rage land, and then we draw a Charm. Okay. Start off with an iteration. Put one into hand, one on bottom, one into exile, that's fine. Do it like so. And this will give us a big enough. Um, Merktide, they fetch. Meaning they might be trying, okay. They just put a land and play tapped. Ragavan hits them. We hit a troll. Can't cast it. But that's fine. We'll make this a 5-5 five five and pass. Just that way we can block things. Paying cost. Geist is found. Well, yeah, Vengevine happens. Grows their Geist. And they have a 4 3. Mean. To block the 4 3. They're at 13, we're at 7. We can heat. Or we can... I like taking the Geist after they recur their Vengevine here. We do that, and then we can block and shoot things. Our unholy heat isn't active. Which is a bit unfortunate. I guess we could go ahead and heat the troll. Let's leave the monkey back and just hit for five. Take one to eight, pass the turn. Hmm. A salvage. Reveal five. Those are the five. Oh, well, that's great. Assuming they're. Not taking either of the blood ghasts. Okay, they took the feeder. So land plus feeder here. Discards a blood ghast, sure. Plays a land, puts three blood ghasts into play. All the while growing their willow. However, we can't block this much damage. 
carrion feeder, sure. I should have, in response, Dark Mage just charm their geist, because now they just get to eat it. So we do this, gain control of this. And then they just eat it to the feeder, and we lose. I mean, we lose either way, but... That's a slight misplay there. So, while this can't attack, it's two, four, six, eight, ten. We can block two of it. We take eight. All right. So, a graveyard based strategy means relics come in. They were mainly black. Green, I didn't see anything else. Blood Moon's not great against them. Force isn't great. They don't do a lot of non-creature things. They have a lot of one and two drops, so EE -E is tempting here. <clears throat> what do we trim? I guess charm's a bit too heavy and Trim spell pierce, trim counter spell. These are two counter magic spells. Yeah, this looks right. Whether or not it is or not, I don't know. But it looks right. We won the die roll. We'll take the play. Uh, hands does a lot. But it's only got one land. Throw it back. Okay, we can definitely keep this. Bottom an island, say done. Lead on a Darcy. Bobble ourselves, surveil. It's a scalding tarn. So we'll put that on top. And see what they're drawing. They've got a fetch land coming up. Okay. We'll put land into hand, and this will give us the land artifact instant. Meaning we're looking to put sorcery or creature into the yard. Okay. Geist feeder and salvage hit the bin for them. This fetch. Steam vent shocked in. Blue do this. Hey, thank you very much for the follow, sheeps. How you doing today? This we will surveil. We'll put that in the graveyard. Turns on delirium, then we draw counter magic. Cool. Hit him for three. So this is one of the times where we don't want to thought scour them because they want cards in their yard. This is interesting. All right, there's a troll. Let's go ahead and verify your account. Sorry about that. This let us surveil Ragavan. We'll keep that on top. It's not getting through, but gives us a blocker. They're going to pitch their hand. What is opponent playing? They're playing some black green Vengevine list. Ah, they don't swing with the Stitcher. Darn, we were hoping that they would. This, and now we just hold up Counter Magic. Get in for three. Hmm. Willow Geist. I don't like that card. 
just from the aspect of them growing doesn't seem like a great idea. We'll put it on top. And I'm assuming they have a way to bring back the Vendrine. Yep. So now they've got quite a clock on us. They swing with both. They hold back the stitcher. Okay. That's why we kept bolt on top here. Sorry, we can get rid of that Vendrine. We have to attack with the Dragon Rage. We could play out the Ragavan, but I don't feel that's what we want to do. We have one in hand. So they're probably going to have a difficulty getting Vengevine back with exactly two in hand here. And no Gravecrawler in the yard. They swing house. So let's bolt the Vengevine. Surveil, keep on top. Vengevine goes away, we take three. And we've got five here. Carrion Feeder, sure. Carrion Feeder, sack Grave Crawler, replay Grave Crawler, get back Vengevine. Yep, yep. Pretty good for them. We'll hold the monkey. Swing for three. Take him to seven. And we're staring down a good amount. We probably should have played monkey there as a blocker. They go to six. To return scrap heap, sure. So five plus three is only eight. Blood gas makes it ten. At this point, I need to. Find something. Surveil EE -E won't do it at instant speed here. Mill them too. We draw, not lethal. Okay. Because they swing out, and we can only bolt the Vengevine. Sure, you grow. Murktide. That would have been a great card to draw earlier. Then we take lethal. 3, 6, 10, 11. Played out the monkey there. We instead get to block. And not be dead. Alright. Misplay there. I would love to play first. Um, this is probably not a hand you want to keep, but we're going to try it. Just triple thought scour sounds so crazy. And we can hit a Merc Tide here. Well, and also having the Dragon Rage channeler makes it so we get to go turn one Dragon Rage, turn two thought scour, hopefully. Turn on channeler. Spire bluff channeler. 
Fast turn. Let's see them have the turn one bolt. Orborg. Okay. So some... Let's lead off with that. Thought scour ourselves. Surveil puts... Monkey. Monkey in the graveyard. Yeah, blue. I don't know how to blue. All right. Let's thought scour ourselves again here. Surveil. Put into the graveyard because we just want to try to fill graveyard. And there we go. We turned on Dragon Rage. Twilight Myers found. Double green, wall of roots. Okay, so this is Yogg combo. This shock in. Blue, blue. One, two, three. I don't have a way to put an instant into the yard again. We're gonna just do it like this. Get rid of all of our instants, which will turn off our smell of them. Surveil, we see a sorcery. We'll put that on top then. Not a bad draw for next turn. We smack for three this turn, smack for nine next, and have up counter magic. They can play Yogg next turn. I don't think Yogg wins them this match at this point. Ready for cast? It's interesting. I don't know if I have time during that point because school and whatnot. If it gets too busy, I can't exactly play, but you know, I'm going to try and it's going to be interesting. So three black here, messenger. Yep. Messenger. And there's tapped. We lose to. And they use their wall of roots. And now we'll have a counter magic here. This draw bobble, huh? So let's. No, let's, let's start off by just attacking. And then I believe it's just going to be. Hold up. We'll hold up Pierce and Counterspell here. Because it'll be at five. Cast this Bobble Surveil. Do we want the top card? Green, green. They're going to try to cord. Cord for zero. Spell pierce your cord. Cool. We'll keep that card on top then. We know we like that card. So this, and let's see what they're drawing. An evolution. Nice. We draw the bolt, they draw their evolution, and we've got the counter spell. Messenger gets in, sure. Hmm. 
Hmm. What are we playing here? I tried to cord. Counter spell, and they concede. All right. So, Yug combo, Relic and Torpor Orb. As far as I can come out, I'll probably shave. Hmm. Force. Monkey's probably not getting in against this deck. Something to take monkey out here. And then shave an iteration, bring in both Blood Moon. I know that they're only black and green, but yeah. Here's I was saying, I know that they're only black green, but a lot of their lands are utility lands and Blood Moon's real good. Buffy spamming chat with Blood Moon. I mean, we just have to find w one blue source, right? At this point, we keep we go greed. Ignoble. I mean, I guess you can ignoble opponent. Pilot. Bolt the bird, pass the turn. I mean, this hand's pretty greed, too, so. Ignoble and Young Wolf. Bruh. Pay two, blue one, orb, pass turn. We won't moon right away here because we don't have access to blue. This is probably going to be thought scour into hopefully. No, we can thought scour. That scour doesn't hit anything actually. Exalted, we take two here. Bobble's interesting. This Bobble allows us to Merc Tide. Let's see what they're drawing. They're hitting Cord. This Thought Scour ourselves. Well, there goes an Island. Only a five five, but a five five does a pretty good job blocking. Okay, so then we draw visions. Okay, so moon next turn. If we can hit an island, they've got a lot of young wolf. And they're going to cord for three here. Sure. Grist. Okay, they're going to hit their young wolf and destroy our Merc Tide. Unfortunate. Couldn't exactly stop it, however. Blue, red, iteration. Put one into hand, one on bottom, one into exile. This pay one, play out the channeler. Play out the bobble, surveil, try to hit. Not sorcery, not creature. <sighs> Put that. Um, Bottom. Let's 
see what they're drawing. <sighs> Giant Arbor. Okay. Setting up for the Merktide next turn. It makes it so our Dragon Rage shrinks, but that's fine. That and they mill over Endurance. Nice. Do they have another cord here? They have another cord. X equals four. Cords for Yogg. And it's to do this. So they get to draw cards, but that's it. They need to make 10. We need EE -E off the top here. Cutthroat. And that's the death trigger, which will do it. Because <laughs> this is entering and not leaving. All right. Let them go through their combo. They stay at 11. We get drained. Okay. Anything that I want to do differently? Maybe EE. -E. So we saw Endurance, and a lot of their stuff is Death Trigger. With the Cutthroat, I kind of like EE -E over the orbs. Do that, Shaven Iteration. This, we won the die roll, we'll take the play. Or keep this, do that, leave up bolt or scour, depending on what opponent does here. They fetch, get themselves an ignoble hierarch. Nice, bolt it. Matt, cast, see what they're drawing. A Geist. Not great for us. They play out the garden. I guess they just didn't have an untapped land to start smacking us with a Geist. As we do this, let's scar ourselves. Ouch, we hit Relic and Moon. Two really good draws. And a Bolt. This shocked in, leaving up Bolt. They could Evolution the Plant Token. I guess they could also try to grist. If they grist, we bolt the plant token.
wall of roots, sure. One green young wolf, okay. Okay, we draw Scalding Tarn. This Merktide smack in. And we will go red. Blue EE -E on two and pass the turn. Because two is where Haptra and Cutthroat are. It also hits the wall. We're not going to use it on just the wall. Are they going to try to cord for one here? Yep. And they cord for zero. Get themselves the Dryad Arbor. Bolt the Arbor. It means that we can't hit their wall here, so they can evolution it. I guess since it took it to three, we should have bolted the wall. Because now they get to evolution wall and get grist and kill our merc tide. Or they're just gonna cord for three. Back to relearning Dyson here. Yep. They cord for two when we have an EE -E on two. They get in for two. We draw land. Let's take a redraw here. Because I really don't need a hand that's just a bunch of land. Do this and smack for five. They go to nine. I kind of like shutting them off of this mana now that they've missed land drop for a bit. Sure, you can float your one. Ooh, they hit their land drop. Darn. Because this means grist. Evolution. Okay. Where X is two. So this goes gets Yog. They choose grist. Let's see what they sack. They probably sack Young Wolf or a token. Destroying that. You're destroying me there. I will blow up your Geist. Now they have a 1-1. One, one. Our hand's very land heavy though. We need something like iteration here. Bobble won't do it. Bobble ourselves here. Vision is a draw, so we'll take it. Because they've still got it set up.
So they now have Yog. There's the Geist that we knew about. And let's see what they can do. They hit us for three here. Nine all is not where we want to be. But it's where we've got to be. This fetch. Steam mints tapped. This upkeep we draw something good. It's not something good. Draw a card and scry. Bottom top. Draw a card and scry. And then top top. We can counter anything that gets them close to lethal. And then they have to... Oh, but then they just sack their shingle root. This makes a double black that... Counter Yog. Grist goes up. And they smack us for a good chunk here. And actually, that's lethal. Because we kept two creatures on top. So we know what we're drawing, and they get to grist away. Even though we've gotten 8-8. Eight, eight, they just grist it away using Shingle Root Geist, and that is six. They don't even have to do that. Well, no, they do. They have to do it that way. Just drew way too many lands in that game. So this will happen, and then they destroy. Then they swing for six. Make sure they turn them all sideways. All right, neat. Concede. Curious. So we knew about the Dragon Rage. What else were we drawing? Thought Scour Iteration. So even if we had bottomed both, we would then mill them, draw Iteration, iterate into this counter spell, Unholy Heat, and Visions. Probably we'll put Visions into hand. No. Visions into exile and holy heat into hand, counter spell on bottom. Visions would draw, and we're not gonna see from that point. Thank you, Moto. Okay, facing a Luris deck. We've got one, two, three, four cards to put into the yard relatively quickly. We'll try it. Mm, arid Maze, so this makes me think Burn. Darcy. Okay, well, that's a easy turn one bolt. Especially when we have three of them. Red, Bolt, Bobble, Bubble them. Blaze. So it's Darcy Burn. All right. So the blaze is going to have a hard time killing this Murktide. Swift Spear, sure. Down to 17 we go. Ooh, I like that draw. Bolt their Swiss Spear away. And pass. I want to hold up Spell Pierce. Oh, 
holding up spell pierce and bolt here seems fine. Just put Luris to hand and play Bobble. Do we deny the redraw? No. Pierce it. I thought about it. This lets visions. Um, I'm good with top and bottom and pass the turn. We now have force plus pierce and bolt. So they find their land, which is a bit unfortunate because now they get to Luris plus a Darcy. Luris happens. They go for Bobble. We get to pierce them. So their Luris bought back one card. Uh. We're just going to Merc Tide here. Just drop a 7-7. Seven, seven. That's why we have Spell Pierce plus Force of Negation. We know that their hand consists of Blaze. So they can try to deal 3. We Pierce it. If they pay, cool. And we take three, and then our Merktide's fine. Hmm. That's a nice spell, Pierce. Technically should let the Dragon Rage Chandler Surveil resolve. But. This way. <laughs> that put instant into the yard. Which makes their Dragon Rage have to attack. And then we get to block. They could then try to kill. But alright. So facing Darcy Burn. Blister Storm seems pretty good. Dark Mage's Charm is a bit hard to cast. Bring in Force. Monkey is very weak. Hmm. They don't have any ETB abilities. Blood Moon, not really against it. I know that it does shut off their red. They probably aren't running too many. Alpine Moon, they're not a saga list. EE's interesting because I know that they've got probably Goblin Guide, Dragon Rage Channeler, and Swift Spear, which is nine hits. But I don't think that's enough. And the relics really just to stop them from doing graveyard shenanigans. We'll cut another monkey and basically just use monkey as a dash. So, hand is blue. We're gonna mulligan the six here. Okay. Keep this bottom of Merktide. 
I know that the unholy heats don't do a lot right now, but we do have the thought scour. This fetch shock Darcy, swift spear, and a bobble. All right. Now you got to see what we're drawing. They're down to three in hand. Goes up to four off the bobble. Oh, nice. Our own bobble. This fetch and shock. Unholy heat, the Swiss spear, cast bobble. Bobble them, and they're getting a land. Nice. We hit the land drop that we needed. So if this is just something simple like Eidolon, we heat it. Boros Charm, sure. We go to 11. Oh, cool. We just do Rainforest Pass here. Because we can Spell Pierce. Okay, they Guide. Guide's going to reveal Unholy Heat. Well, I'm not opposed to drawing that card. So let's heat their guide. And then they're going to Lava Spike. We'll go ahead and put in an island here and spell pierce that. Need a land. There we go. One, two, Merktide. One, two, three, four, five. You saw a video of me and my buddy chilling casual scrolling once, yeah. <laughs> Fun, fun. So we've got two cards in hand. All right. Well, we're going to flush the storm. Same target. Bonus save. Want to save? Yep. Sounds about right there. Okay. We're down to one card in hand here. I know we're at nine, so we do need to threaten a bit. But I feel Darcy is strong enough. All right. Opponent doesn't want to play that. So if they don't kill, we draw off of the islet. If they do try, we would then mill. Yeah, we'd mill over Bobble Visions and a land, and then we'd draw a Merc tank. <laughs> okay. Yeah. There we go. We're taking it against Darcy Burn there. It's very land heavy. I got a mulligan. This hand doesn't do anything. Down to five. Okay, we can keep bottom eight, and I guess iteration. 
and just hope a Merc Tide's strong enough here. Delta, Shock, Dragavan. Okay. Might not be strong enough here. Rainforest, Fetch, Shock. Fast turn. Let the Ragavan hit. It's Darcy. That's great for them. This Thought Scour ourselves. Mill over Island. Huh. Well, cast a Ragavan of our own and pass the turn here. Just so that way we can block their Ragavan with our Ragavan. Unless they have the Unholy Heat. Mm hmm So this is a mirror match. Not great for us. Blue red iteration. Turns on there. Yeah, we take five, go to ten. Treasure token, then it'll land. Plays a Darcy of their own. Ask ourselves here. You this. We need to draw and scry. Top, top. I don't know why we're doing that because we played a fetch land. Doesn't matter what we put on top. Blue, blue, one, two, three, four, five. Drop the eight, eight. Has counter spell. Cool. We take eight, go to one. So EE -E is pretty good. Mystical dispute is questionable at best but i like flusters and force spell pierce is good well, i guess the real question is how many blue cards are we running main so 1822 it's pretty good then I like charm. See, I like everything. I don't think we want to bring in the EE. -E. And that will shave Vision's Thought Scour iteration. And one monkey. No monkeys we'll get on the play. Shave a big dragon. Probably not correct. I don't know how to board for the mirror. Here we go. This is keepable. We'll lead off with a Shocked Steam Vents and Dragon Rage. 
Whether or not that's correct or not, we'll find out. I know this does play into Bolt, but can't play around removal and a tempo strat. Because if they Bolt here, then if they try to do something to regain tempo, we will have the Cluster Storm. This, they shock in Darcy of their own. Yep. And divisions. Let them surveil. They liked the card on top. Well, that's unfortunate. I guess we could have milled it. They put two on bottom. Let's go ahead and fetch shock and thought scar ourselves here. Okay, we milled over some pretty great cards there, which isn't great. Let's dash a monkey here. And do that, hit OK. Dash monkey hits a bobble. Cool, we'll play a bobble. And we'll see what they're drawing. An unholy heat. Unfortunate. S with dash. Swing for two. We're going to try to heat. We're going to try to flush the storm. We hit for damage here. Monkey connects. Bubble is found. Play this. Bubble them. Unholy heat. And they no longer have the unholy heat. All right. Dragavan putting in work here. Blue red iterates. We could try to force it pitching the Merc Tide. I'd rather have a Merc Tide. Rainforest was exiled. That's what they play. Arc Mage's Charm, huh? Let's play our land first. And then cast the monkey with dash. You're gonna try to bolt it. You're gonna try to force your bolt. They fetch. Blue mana, Fluster Storm. Fine by me. Nope. You got my monkey with your bolt. This one, two, three, four, 
five. Blue and blue. Here's an eight eight. Jace the Mind Sculptor, Bounce, Merc Tide. Fine by me. Mind Sculptor. Oh, nice. We can just heat. Heat the Mind Sculptor. This. Blue, blue, blue. No, undo. I would like to draw two cards. And now we'll replay a Merktide. It's not as big, but it's still a two turn clock. Ask ours. Bobble. Sure. Wants to see what we're drawing. Makes sense. A monkey, huh? We'll cast that with dash. You're going to counter it? Sure. That tapped. Pass turn. I need to use the eyelet right now. We can just crack that at the end of their turn. Cool. So draw, draw. Yeah. Um, interesting that they brought in the mind sculptor. I don't agree with their decision, but. It has so much potential to be such a powerful hand, but it is a one lander. We'll keep it. Bobble, bobble. And so they're going with a super fast Merc Tide here, is my guess. So they see the island, this fetch and shock, play out Ragavan, Bobble, to see what they're doing. They're getting the land. All right. Unless they... Uh, scour they don't instead they just draw two they draw their one okay iteration is pretty good for us this i'm assuming fetch shock and kill monkey darcy all right i'm fine with that we're a red source short I'm gonna fluster. Alright. Keeps their Darcy alive. Nope. I guess we should have swung first. Because this turns Darcy on. It's a draw and scry at this point. Interesting. Bottom top. 
we won't attack into the 3-3 three, three if we had instead waited. We could have tried to trade. And no, because then the same thing happens. And we're down a monkey. All right, they play a Darcy. This we get. Hmm. <sighs> See if they have the counter spell. They do. All right. So they surveil enter our Darcy and then we take six in the air. We need land off the top here. I guess I could have used our thought scour. Be a bit more aggressive with it. But this at least makes it looks like we can hold up something. They fetch, they shock. They play a monkey of their own. This Thought Scar ourselves. Well, that's unfortunate. We milled over a land. I resolve Darcy of our own. Nice. Offer monkey trade? Yeah, offer monkey trade. Three mana, you're gonna try to Archmage's Charm. My Darcy. <sighs> Put that into the graveyard. And now they just take it. They go no blocks. Oh, they just block there instead. Yeah, that's that's even better. Alright. So we bolt our own Darcy to stop their counter magic. They then have to trade with Monkey. Or just take it. They just take it, we can replay new monkey to block their monkey, and we'd be at two. We'd get one more draw, and it's a land. All right. So, mirror match. Not easy. Very difficult. Would love to take the play. Hands got removal, but no threat. Here we go. Let's try this. Bottom rainforest. Why? Because this way we can lead off on a monkey and have monkey backup if they have removal. If they're not a removal list, we get to go to town with Monkey. <laughs> what? What? When a land, put a plus one, plus one. Remove, bounce it. When it leaves the battlefield, return three lands from your graveyard to your hand. Okay. So some lands deck. Let's fetch. Get a Steam Vince into play tapped here. Then Visions. Bottom both. Opponent fetches and gets a Triumph.
And then Renin 6, sure. And goes ahead and tries to ping. Won't bolt the Ren. This we will fetch or an island. Red, blue, cast monkey with dash. Hurrah. Monkey hits. We hit a forest. All right. And a Darcy. Monkey goes back to hand. There go. Valakut. This and dash the monkey. Combat. Swing house. And fire, they're gonna go one one. Sure. We lose our monkey. They take three. Pass to them. Stomping grounds tapped. See Vincent to play tapped. Swing for three. Stomping grounds tapped. for three. Darcy, pass turn. <laughs> they explore. And land and land. Land Dryad, Valakut Trigger. Here we go, this, ah. I like that card where it is, so we'll keep it there. They can fetch and get rid of one. This, that happens, and there's still enough to get rid of that. This is why we kept iteration on top. So now we go red, blue, iterate. We will put force into hand, heat on bottom, exile, merc tide. Play the exiled Merc Tide. One, two, three, four, five. Blue, blue. Have ourselves a seven, seven and deal with it. Thanks for the alert, bud. No, you're not bad, Alex. I appreciate it. So this is scape shift, and we're at 17. We have six. They already played their land for the turn with the island. 
Is that enough? Yep, okay. Yeah, because it's six plus a Valakut. All right. Close that. Blood moons, 100%. Alpine moon, yes. Force of negation, yes. Archmage charm, no. Darcy Ragavan are fine. Unholy heat, only really hit there. No, we shave. Bolt pierce. Um. Yep. Uh, we'll keep. The Merc Tide's pretty slow, but a Dragon Rage plus Bobble turn one is hard to say no to. This Channeler, Bobble, Surveil. Put that into the graveyard. And see what they're drawing. It's a Fury. Okay. That's unfortunate. And Valakut into play tapped. At this, we do this, we fetch. The cursed deck? What, the Valakut or me playing Merktide? Get basic island, bolt them, surveil, put into the graveyard. I don't want to draw that card. Darcy grows, we hit for three. If they have a red card they can pitch. I don't play it. Yeah, understandable. I picked up Merc Tides and Monkey recently, so I want to do try a deck with it in them. Bobble here, Surveil. I really like that card. And they're drawing Titania. Okay. Sure. At this heat, their dryad surveil. <laughs> mean. Put into the graveyard here because we're going to try to just play out this Merc Tide. Red, blue, iterate, surveil. Graveyard. Oh, nice. One into hand. One on bottom, one in exile. Do this, red, alpine moon. Monkey will leave on top. Alpine Moon shall name Valakut. Valakut the Molten Pinnacle. This. Surveil. We know we want the card. That's why we're drawing it. And then. Bottom top. Valakut loses its ability. When it goes to eight. I fetched a seven. 
And so they're gonna hard cast Fury here. Try to get themselves back in this game. Fury hits four to the Dragon Rage. Sounds good. Land off the top. That is not a land. But red, red, blue, Blood Moon. And then Oscar ourselves trying to find a land. We did not, unfortunate. We milled over land. Opponent hits us for six. I'm gonna ice a mountain or an island. That will mill you two and draw a card. Nice. Getting Fury there is pretty good. This doesn't mean that we can't Merc Tide, but that's fine. Cast a monkey with Dash. I'm gonna bolt. Okay. Percy. No blocks. We'll take six again. Hmm. And they're going to Endurance, Evoking Titania, so what? Shuffle my Graveyard away so I can't Merc Tide? Let's Iterate, Surveil, put it on top. Gives us a land drop here. One in the hand. One on bottom, one in exile. Play the land. It shrinks our dragon rage. Which is a bit unfortunate. We'll dash the monkey here. Have the monkey attack, leave Darcy back for blockers. Alright. Monkey goes away, they can't swing. I mean, they can. Strictly incorrect, too, but they can. Red, red, cast with dash. Because if we find a bolt, we win. It's stomping ground. Well, that's unfortunate. So delve. And like so. Have ourselves a 4-4. Four, four. I'll trade. They lose out their fury. They find a green source. That cast monkey with dash. 
by with dash. That way we get to dodge sorcery speed removal. They go to one. Valakut was found. Monkey goes to hand. We pass the turn. And they concede. We're going to draw a bobble. Okay. So Alpine Moon and Blood Moon do work. Bolt, I kind of want to bring back in. We'll shave like a Thought Scour. Yeah. And final game of the final match of this league. Mm. And it's got a monkey, got a moon. Yeah. Scalding turn for opponent. Canal monkey. Turn two Blood Moon sounds pretty good to me if we can pull it off here. They fetched a basic mountain and they Blood Moon, or they Bolt. Darn, no turn two Moon. Breeding Pool found for opponent. They shocked it in. Let's go ahead and get ourselves an island. Pass the turn. They're going to ice this. I'll flat scar myself then. Milled over Darcy in a Visions. Interesting that they chose to ice the. Okay, so this probably gets green. Yep. They play a 3 3 with trample. Now their choice makes sense. Well, visions. We hit Darcy. That's pretty good. Top top. Hold up counter magic. And if they do anything, we have the bolt and heat here. We're going to try to just bolt this. All right, they can return three lands. Let me get to pick two. That's fine. They've already played their land for the turn. So red this blood moon. You sure you want to guess it? Okay. Put on top, play an islet. Do that, Darcy. Has the bolts. All right. So this, they go get their other basic forest. Sorry, they're not out of color. Five mana to Tanya. Sounds good. Return that to their hand. Fun, fun. Red, this blood moon they fetch get another basic make themselves a five three do 
Do you have another basic forest? Nope. They choose to just get a mountain. Look at this heat their Titania. Yes, they have a 5-3, but we'll have Unholy Heat into Counter Magic. Bolt. Fast turn. Valakit. Nice. Land pass. Mm. Dryad. Okay, with countering this. Here's us with the heat. Eh, we need to not draw dead. So we know one of their cards. Okay, we now know. No, we still know that they have a scalding turn in it. Man. I'm just ripping land after land here. But they're doing the exact same thing. There we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Blue, blue. Got a big old Merc Tide. Pass the turn. Monkey, huh? We'll drop a monkey with Dash. Try to hit a bolt off of them. What you trying to do here? You're gonna fire one one. Okay. Smack you for eight then. There at six, we've got this. Any way to remove Blood Moon and combo? Which is really just a way to remove Blood Moon. Two in hand. I guess I could also ice our Merc Tide here. Do this, they can flash in Endurance. Is their game plan. Our graveyard gets shuffled. And then whenever an instant or that, that'll grow. And holy heat. Bolts. Hey, thank you very much for gifting a sub. And you gifted it to Co Diamonds. How glorious. I'm sure, he will absolutely love those emotes. And we got there. What we should have done there instead was with the shuffle trigger on the stack, Unholy Heat, so that we only had to use one card. But we still got there in the end. Overall, Blue Red Merktide does its thing. It does it pretty well. It's very powerful if you know how to do it. I feel that the... 2-3 could have easily been a 4-1 if I navigated the matchups better. So it's definitely got some power to it. Monkey felt good. Merktide felt good. With that being said, I'll see y'all in the next video.